What's going on guys? This is Keegan and Joel from Punisher's Paintball. Today we are doing a Ultimate Arm Pad Review. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure that you follow us on all social media platforms. Alright guys, so the first arm pad in our comparison video are actually these Tampa Bay Damage Arm Pads. Uh, these are offered by Virtue Paintball and retail at $36.95, which is a really good bang for your buck if you're looking for a cost-efficient arm pad. Yeah. Uh, Keegan, what's your first impressions before I start talking about it? First impressions, um, just holding it, it does seem for the price to have a very nice foam. Uh, it almost mm -hmm. kind of feels like a memory foam yeah, to it. it does. Um, they seem looking at how they fit on you it doesn't seem like it has any extra material where it's not needed and it does seem to fit pretty well and mold to your arm pretty well especially for the price point yeah so yeah so this is the 2x version fits my arm perfectly um one thing that i'd like to mention is that i am 6'2 and that these things you know for the most part they fit good arm length is good um the one thing that i don't like though is that it doesn't have a half glove uh half glove meaning this portion right here and the reason why half gloves are important we'll talk about when we talk about the hk hostel pad which is the next one in our comparison um but like keegan said the the foam is a really nice foam it's more foam fit or form fitting i should say and it's really nice almost like gel like uh padding um the other thing with these pads that i'd like to mention is that it doesn't really have much of an elastic band up here at the top but what it does have is this really nice thick adjustable velcro strap that you can go around and then attach to your um attach to the velcro strap right here that makes it nice and easy so that it's not going to slide on on you too much i think that there is going to be a little bit of slide here yeah for especially for like you you're a snake player um as far as when you're going in for momentum it's going to really pull that uh but overall these are really nice pads for 36.95 and i think that this is a really good option for those people that are trying to be you know cost a bunch of ballers yep Okay guys, so next in line is the HK Hostel line of pad. Uh, this is the more cost efficient version of the, uh, that HK Army offers when it comes to arm pads. And um, overall, these are pretty good pads. They retail for $39.95, so they are uh, about three or $4 more than the Tampa Bay Damage version arm pads. Um, the big difference being for the extra three, $4, what you do get is you do get this half glove. Uh, Keegan, what do you think of the half glove? And, yeah. and why are half gloves important? Yeah, so the reason that half gloves are important is being a front player or really just any player in general that does any amount of diving. Mm -hmm. um, when you go to dive in, all your forward momentum will pull your pad back. Um, so if you don't have that half glove, it's going to just uh, keep going back and you have nothing to stop it. Mm -hmm. See, if I pull back, I have that half glove to stop it from keep going backwards but uh up onto your form yeah 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 um and the the other reason is it does provide a bit more protection while you're diving you're not tearing up your hand as quite as much mm -hmm. um so overall um the pad for being a budget pad um i think it does fit fairly well uh with the one exception of up here um, towards the front of my arm there is a bit too much padding and material and so it doesn't quite have that uh formed fit to my arm right i would say budget budget wise i think that the quality of the foam with these is better yes the quality like of the foam is much better yeah this is very stiff yeah whereas like the the damage pads are are like much more form fitting and everything else like that so um but but what does so we so we have the half glove i'd like to mention that the <laughs> the half glove like is not that good quality yeah uh it's like you know there's no padding there's no nothing it's very basic but it is a half glove if, if you're yeah. just getting into the sport and you want some pads for 40 bucks this isn't a bad option it also does also have this it does um it's a lot thinner and doesn't seem to be as quite high quality but mm -hmm. um it it is there and it definitely does help to keep your pad uh tight on you yeah all right, so next up, uh, next in line, as far as price point that we're gonna be talking about are the Virtue Breakout Pads. All right, guys, so next are the Virtue Breakout Pads. Um, these are the more elite version of pads that are offered by, by Virtue Paintball as compared to the damage pads. 
Um, these retail from anywhere from $49.95 up to $61.95, depending upon the time of the year, you might be able to find them on sale. Um, and these are offered in three different sizes, small, medium, large XL, as well as 2X. Um, I actually personally wear these pads. And the reason why I wear these pads is because they are extremely thin material and uh, it almost feels like there's nothing on your on your arms when you're, when you're wearing them. Um, overall, I've had a good experience with these pads. There are a few critiques that I like to talk about with these pads. Uh, the first one being, <laughs> it's funny, right before we started this video, Keegan picked these up and said that, that this is really cheap. So this is just a, this is just a little, elastic band here that's actually sewn on and i've actually had customers in the store that have purchased these and then come back to us and unfortunately um has caused a tear so you have to be very careful with these um whereas some of the other half gloves that are the more expensive arm pads feature yeah. uh are actually all one piece and they're not two separate portions that are just sewn on so um but what's nice about these is there are Mm -hmm. These two little pads that fit on both sides of your palm. So as you're diving in, um, it protects your palm as well as this kind of rubber coated portion to cause any type of non-friction. Um, the other reason that I like these pads is that they don't have anything here. Um, I wore the Exalt yeah. Freeflex, which we'll talk about next. Um, but this is just like, it's really simple. But what I like about it is like, I feel like they're, I'm not even wearing arm pads and I don't do a lot of diving. I'm a big dude and you know, I'm just in the back throwing paint around. So, um, but you know, for the most part, these get done what I like. Uh, my other niche about these as I've worn them for about, I've probably worn these for about a year now is that this elastic band here, uh, kind of can cut into your skin a little bit over a period of time. If you get a pair that's like really tight to you, um, it can actually kind of start to cut into your skin, uh, which we'll talk about in some other, uh, some of the other arm pads. But overall, really good purchase. Um, if you're looking for something that's more minimal, this is the arm pad that I suggest. All right, you guys, next in line are the Exalt Freeflex, Freeflex pads. These are some really good pads, very popular within the uh, speedball mm -hmm. community of things. These retail for a price point of $55 or $54.95. Uh, Keegan, I'm gonna let you talk about these before I talk about these. Okay, um, so I have never worn these pads. I've never put them on. Um, so just picking them up, feeling them, looking at them. Um, it seems like coming in towards the middle of the pack, it seems like the foam on them should be a bit higher quality. It's more tough foam that doesn't form to your arm as well as it should. Mm -hmm. uh, I do like that it does have that pad on the um, on the half glove. And that's actually, it's on the outside. So that pad will sit right about here. That is where the most contact when you dive is gonna be, other than your arm, of course. Yeah. On your hand, when you dive, you're diving like this, um, trying to keep your gun up. Uh, and so that is a very nice thing to have because it increases padding and you're not just jamming your arm in, or your hand yeah. into the ground. Um, Plus it could also protect if like, you know, you're getting shot in the hand, come yeah. around a bunker or something, or you're yeah. in the woods and you're close to combat, you know, it'll protect your arms, so. Yeah, um, they do, uh, just picking them up, they seem like more breathable pads than some of the others that we have out here. Um, but I'm gonna hand it off to you now. First off, I've actually worn these pads in the past. Before I started wearing the breakout pads, I was wearing these. Um, overall, I had a pretty decent experience with the Exalt Free Flexes. Um, you know, pr pretty standard, like Keegan said. I thought that the, the foam was relatively stiff on them. That obviously breaks in with a little bit of time, but not nearly as form-fitting as some of these other pads are. Um, the other thing that I like to mention is just like the breakout pads, the inside of this is not uh, covered by anything, so it really tends to cut into your uh, into your upper arm. It's kind of an issue that I had with the free flexes. Is every time I wore these, I had bruising afterwards on my upper arm. Um, the these are the only pads that have like this mid uh, forearm strap, mm -hmm. which is nice. I do like that. Um, I kind of wish that these had an adjustable band up top instead of this. Um, but overall, these are good. The other thing I'd like to mention is that, the, you know, the um, half glove up here is a really thin material, but it is all one piece. So you're not gonna be worried about tearing 
uh, your thumb piece right here like you would be with the breakout pads. So overall, I mean, I think these are good pads for, for 55 yeah. bucks. Next, we're gonna talk about the Eclipse HD Core pads. Alrighty guys, next in line, we have the Planet Eclipse HD Core pads. Keegan, take it from here. So I currently have one on. Um, it is one size too big probably. Uh, they fit fairly big. This These is are size mediums, yeah. by the way. Sorry. They're, they're size mediums, um, and they seem to fit bigger than uh, other pads would. So far, it doesn't really seem to want to flex to my arm. It seems like the pad is very just flat. Um, I mean, if I put my arm down, it's just flat, and they don't really flex all that much. It's a very tough foam, mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't seem to... I mean, it, it would protect, but... It seems like a much harder foam than the rest. Um, yeah, you, would, you know, I think that it might if it w if it was one size smaller. To be fair, to play devil's yeah. advocate, you know, I think that if it was one size down, it might conform a little bit. But yeah, I think that it is kind of funny because it just keeps on wanting to go yeah. right back into that that flat form. The one thing I'll say, uh -huh. there is a lot of material up by my wrist. Um, if you can see that, it's mm -hmm. very thick here, and there's a lot of unneeded material mm -hmm. um so that's one of the things the other thing that i notice is again the um the half guard is a very thin strap um you don't have a lot of material there and i would be worried about ripping that it does have a little bit of padding uh, on the back of your hand it doesn't have it on the front or on the side but it does have a bit of padding on the back yeah so these so these retail for 54.95 just like the exalt free flex um you know the the band up here one thing that i will say is i do like the fact that it is an elastic band up here and it's it seems to be a lot more comfortable than the exalt ones so for me uh, personal experience, bad experience with the Exalt Free Flexes on that side of things. I thought they were good pads otherwise. But this is nice on the Planet Eclipse ones. This yeah. would be, for me, I'd be more apt to wear these because of that. Um, the other thing too is I do like that this material mm -hmm. here is the same material on the breakout pads as well as some of the other pads. Um, it is much nicer. It's a little bit thinner and there's no texture to it. So it's just, it's just, it's more comfortable. Um, but yeah, I agree with you. I think that it is kind of weird. Like the foam does not want to contour yeah. to your arm. Um, and the, the half glove is probably the worst quality half glove for the price point mm -hmm. going up. The half gloves get considerably better. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of the HK hostel pads yeah. for $39.95 as far as the half glove goes. They're not bad pads uh, for the price point. I do like the, the, the design here, the Planet Eclipse design. And I really do like this portion up here. Um, yeah. So next, HK Army. Next, we have the original HK Crash Pads. Um, these come in two different colors. They retail at $59.95. I used to use these pads. They were the first pads that I got. For the price, the uh, Half Guard actually is very good quality. It has a thicker material and it has a double stitch um, uh, guard or in-between piece for your thumb. It also has the padding that wraps around the side of your hand, which is huge for when you're going into slide. Um, the one, one of the complaints that I have about it though is that um, up at the top with the band, um, once you tighten it down, it is very rough on your skin. Um, it almost feels like you have to put a shirt or something underneath it. Uh, because it does start to dig in and kind of scratch up your skin almost because it's not a super smooth, um, nice material that some of the other or some of the other pads are. Mm -hmm. It's a very thick padding, as you can see. Um, it's about one and a half times the size of my arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's a very stiff padding. I believe that it's the same padding that's actually in the hostile pads. And to be fair, this is a small medium, so this is the size that you wore. Yeah, this is the size okay. that I wore. Yeah, so these aren't oversized, and for the most part, they seem to fit decent. But the one thing that I know I'm noticing, Keegan, is it like bunches you got, up. Yeah, here. you've got a you've got way a large amount of extra padding right there. Yeah, that's causing definitely. you to kind of like kink up there. Definitely. So um, these ones, they don't flex all that well. Um, as I pull my arm in, 
um, it is a bit more tight there mm -hmm. um, and it does start to pinch in up uh, on my upper arm um, but overall I think that the materials are fairly nice and the biggest thing for me is the half guard is very good quality um, you have the double stitched um, in between piece for your thumb and then the fact that the padding on it wraps around is huge mm -hmm. well there's everything that you had to know they do retail for sixty dollars um and like keegan said they do come in a camo as well as we do carry them in the traditional black blue and like white striped yeah um so you do have color options there which is nice but yeah i'm with you man i think that you know this this foam is like very thick doesn't contour contour well yeah and like you said like i could totally see how like this portion right here would totally dig into your to, to yeah, your it's upper very arm. rough material so all righty well with that said we're going to transition into the die core pads all right so now we have the die core pads um on these pads it seems like it has two different types of uh foam and padding up here at the uh bottom towards your hand it's a very nice light um foam versus up here at the top it has first it has a weird kind of design on it with these weird bubble things on it i think that's made for for no friction or, yeah well to stop friction right yeah um but it also is a harder foam so it has two different types of foaming on it um this being towards your upper arm and this being towards your hand first off <laughs> um the half glove is nice yeah. uh, so <laughs> This is me trying to put a 2X on. And in every other arm pad, I fit a 2X. In this one, I do not. And I, I'm not sure if Dye offers a 3X, but literally it's cutting off my circulation. With that said, they run super small. If you're gonna choose to go with the Dye pads, uh, you're gonna wanna go a size up if you're struggling Definitely. one way or another. Um, a few things I do like about it though, regardless of the size issue, is that a, you've got this, so that's like a little nice strap right here if you wanna put your pinky through. Um, the other thing too, is that it does have a little bit of padding here. I think it's pretty similar to the to the crash pad right here. It's all one piece, so you're not gonna worry about any type of ripping or anything like that with the uh, breakout pads. Um, there's really nothing here to protect your inside palm. Um, and then right here, I do like the fact that the padding wraps all the way around. I think it's yeah. the only pad that we have in the collection. I believe so. That wraps all the way around. So those are nice. Um, and then it's got this like mesh material. It's different. It's not the moisture wicking like nylon material of the, the other pads. Um, I do like that. But as you can see, I've got fat arms and like, it's just not fitting. Yeah. But I would say this, the quality is really nice. It's a thinner <laughs> pad, so it does feel nice. Like I'm more of a minimalist when it comes to pads because I don't do a ton of sliding. Um, and the other thing too, is it does have this adjustable strap. So you come around and it goes right around your wrist so that it's not gonna slide up on you. So if you're looking for something that's gonna be a little bit thinner, um, definitely not gonna slide on your arm, move on your arm at all. That's very nice. The padding contours to your forearm, which is nice. Up here does not have an adjustable strap, but the one thing that I'd say is that like, it's not digging in my skin, even though these are skin tight, it is not digging in my skin. So overall, I'm actually relatively impressed. These are super popular uh, at the store and everything else like that. Anytime yeah. that we try and sell um, to people directly at an event, they sell really quickly and overall very nice pad from Dye. Alrighty guys, next in line are the Bunker Keens Royal Guard arm pads. Um, these are really nice arm pads. These retail for a price point of $61.95. Uh, we do still carry Bunker Keens in the store here. So uh, we um, have a full selection of the Bunker Keens pads and we decided to incorporate these into the mix. Um, so a few things right off the bat when it comes to the Bunker Keens pads. First off, super nice uh half glove there yeah. is no padding though there is not yeah so that's that's kind of my thing is uh i do like a little bit of padding especially you know inner outer palm um but it, it does like feel great as far as like it's very minimalist um my biggest thing is the reason why i don't like really thick half gloves and i don't wear gloves while i'm playing uh, i like the feel of the gun the feel of the trigger and the trigger frame these i feel like 
there's nothing there's nothing there it's such a tight fit i do really like that it has this like rubber um outer portion here uh for a no slip basically finish yeah the other thing that i like to mention is this in my opinion by far is the best actual foam slash padding yeah i think it's actually a gel it almost feels like a gel yeah, it doesn't even definitely. feel like a foam um and it contours very well to my arm personally this is a 2x keegan's got the mediums on which she'll talk about here in a second and the other thing i'd like to mention is uh there's going to be no issues on the inner arm as far as bothering your arm because it does have this moisture wicking material which is similar to some of the other arm pads that we had already discussed and then probably the biggest thing for me that I really like about the Bunker Keens pads is that it has an adjustable strap. It's probably one of the only pads in this price point on the higher end of price point that has a strap. And there's nothing to dig in up here. It's literally the upper um, like tighter portion right here is literally about an inch and you can tighten it as you see fit. It can either be very tight or you can loosen it to basically uh, feel like there's nothing there. So that is really nice. Keegan, what do you think? Yeah, so personally, they start at a medium, um, and this is a medium. Mm -hmm. I normally wear a small yep. uh, or a small slash medium. It fits me in some ways, but doesn't fit me in, I, in others. Um, personally, the half guard fits pretty well. Once I get my hand past the wrist portion, um, the half guard fits me very well. It's a nice material. Um, up here at my like the beginning of my arm, it is a bit thick on me um, and it doesn't uh, quite form to my arm. And then when I actually flex my arm, I can feel it kind of starting to pinch right, uh, right at my joint, but that may just be my arms being Could be. weird. Could be. And so it does, it does seem to pinch a bit here when I pull my arm tight. I mean, it starts right about there and continues going um but i i completely agree with you this is by far the best actual padding material yes um yes, by far it's very comfortable and it just feels very good it's minimalistic but it feels like you have the padding needed where you need it yeah yeah one thing i'd like to mention too is that this this rubber material i've actually seen this come on it started to come peeling off yeah with wear uh, doesn't really affect the performance of the pad, but it does this, it's actually just adheres to the material and it starts to peel off over time. Something to mention, something to keep in mind with where uh, this isn't going to stick around forever. Um, but as far as the integrity of the pad, it doesn't really affect the integrity of the pad. Um, but yeah, like you said, like when we were trying to put them on, the, uh, the wrist was like really tight. Yeah. But once you got it over your wrist, it wasn't too bad. So... Overall, I really like these pads. These retail for $61.95, can be available for online purchase. And last but not least, we're gonna talk about the brand new HK Army CTX pads. All right guys, so next we have the brand new Crash CTX arm pads from HK Army. I personally use a pair of these. Um, I like that they're a very minimalistic padding. There isn't a whole lot to them and they seem to uh, form into my arm pretty well. Uh, I don't have anything where it seems like there's material where it's not needed or padding where it's not needed. Um, at, it does have a half guard and the half guard seems to be a very nice material. I have yet to have any problem with it. Um, most of the time I'm running and diving into the snake off break and uh, it's under constant use and constant wear, but I have yet to have any tearing or um, anything happen with these pads. Uh, it has a very nice in-between area that's not going to be ripping on you um, as well as it just fits the hand very well going down you do have a mesh uh, here versus um, most of the other pads where it's that what was that material that you said it was it's like an elastic material yeah um, and so these pads with the mesh they breathe very well um, I don't have any problem where I feel like I'm overheating in them or anything um, and they, they overall just fit my arms very well. Uh, the only thing with them is that up here, uh, this elastic band, since it doesn't have an adjustable strap, and I, I prefer not to have an adjustable strap, but this band is uh, fairly loose on me, mm. uh, but it doesn't seem to affect um, 
the way that they fit because on your momentum is always going yeah. forward it's never being pulled back and it's always just being pulled forward um yeah i mean i agree i think these are really nice pads these just came out not too long ago hk arm released these these are like the improvement version of the um the crash pads and overall i think that it's a major adjustment um, I like the packaging that they come in too. Yeah. I'd like to point that out. It's the only packaging that you get that you can keep them in there if you want to. Yeah. And it's like this mesh fitting so that like if you're sweating and all that stuff, it's not gonna matter. You can still throw them in there. So you get like a nice little baggie along with the mix. Um, as far as the padding goes, I agree. I like this, again, I like this um, no slip material mm -hmm. on the front. The half gloves does not have padding, which is similar to the Bunker Keens. Um, and this like, the, it's a very stretchable material, but it's a little bit different than the material that's on the inside of the bunker canes. It is elastic, but it's got like, it's almost got like a, um, a weird finish to it that makes it feel really high quality. The foam isn't the best, but it is a little bit softer of a foam. It's going to contour to your arm a little bit better. Yep. It's very stylish design. And then my big thing, which if you guys haven't caught on is the, <laughs> the upper arm. Uh, what I noticed with these is that it actually has this covering on the upper arm where the elastic band is. So it does have an uh, elastic band. It's a little bit thinner of an elastic band, but this like almost like neoprene um, material covers it. So I don't see it digging into my arm nearly as much as like the Exalt Free Flex pads. Yeah. Um, so overall, I think these are these are really good pads. Yeah. So with that said, drum roll please, Punisher's picks. I decided on the new CTX arm pads from HK Army. Um, it's what I personally use, and overall, I love the fit of them, love the feel of them, um, and I love the way that they protect my arms. Absolutely, dude. I think those are great pads. Those would probably be my secondary pick. I chose the Bunker Keen Royal Guards. Um, I love the foam or the more like gel like material yeah. to protect your arms. Half glove is very similar between these two pads. And I really like this adjustable uh, strap up here. Um, but overall, great pads all around. Mm -hmm. um, but this is definitely my pick. Yeah, um, this I, is definitely my pick. I can't disagree with you on that as well. <laughs> so uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, follow for more content as we'll be doing more comparison videos and review videos. Thank you guys so much.